If you just took the APUSH exam and you're curious about your responses, stay tuned, I've got you covered. In this video, we're going through set two, question four. So if this question looks familiar to you, this is what we're gonna cover. Students who had set two were asked to either answer question three or four, three covering government or political policies and, and question four on economic policies. So for part A of this economic policy question was just to describe an economic policy between 1865 and 1900. I'm sorry, an economic development. So there's like so much here, so broad, but I will address just a few of the main things I thought of. So I first thought of transcontinental railroads and the impact that had, especially on the integration of the economy between the East and the West, as well as um, the various industries that it spurred. Industrialization and big businesses. Uh, we can think about monopolies, the different, you know, things like horizontal and vertical integration. Agricultural mechanization had a huge impact at this time. The development of labor unions or the growth of labor unions had a big impact on economics and also advancements in communications or other technological um, innovations. Then for part B, you had to describe how two groups responded to economic change, either in a similar way or different way. So you could think about groups like urban versus rural workers. You could think about immigrants versus native born Americans. You could think about business owners, whether that's small business owners or big business owners. You could think about women versus male. You could also think about settlers versus American Indians if you're focusing on the West. And then finally for part C, you had to address how a historical development between 1900 and 1940 impacted the government involvement in the economy. So not just impacted the economy, but impacted the government development in the economy or government involvement. So some of the things that I think are really easy to address well would have been the progressive movement and the Great Depression. I think both of those had really significant impacts on the government involvement, but also I think you could have, you know, made connections between imperialism, World War I, those would have worked as well. Um, maybe even if you address kind of the laissez-faire approach of the government, especially during the 1920s, those are all just some of the ideas that could have happened um, successfully in your response to letter C. There we have a few responses for SAQ number four in set two. Next up, we've got the DBQs. Um, so go ahead and drop in the comments what you used for evidence, and we'll see if other students agree that that was great evidence to use for this SAQ.